Hey guys, welcome to another Soul Calibur 5 DLC showcase. I am Natal from Fight Your Rival, and I'll be showing you guys what you're going to get in the newest compatibility pack. Now, unfortunately, it's sad to say this is the last compatibility pack, so this is the last DLC video you'll get from us. But let's end it on a high note and not on a sour note. So first things first, if you guys never downloaded any of the Soul Calibur 5 DLC, Pay close attention to this part of the video, if not, skip it. So first thing you want to do is go into the Cepheus store located on the bottom. Once you get in there, make sure you download the most recent compatibility pack. So right here on the bottom is compatibility pack 8, and it gives you a short listing of what you exactly get. After you download the compatibility pack, go to purchase downloadable content, and inside the purchase downloadable content, you will find the items that you get with the newest pack. So the first items you get in this pack is the Modern Costumes 3. So we take a look inside, we get Tennis Outfit, which is four parts, and Denim Outfit, three parts. For guys and girls, 160 Microsoft points. Not bad. The next one you get is Ancient Armor 2, which is my personal favorite out of the whole group. You pretty much get 300 armor for men or women, so that's pretty epic. Uh, the next one, School Uniforms. From here, you could see you get pretty much like a Sakura-style uniform, your standard... I guess male Japanese uniform, but looks like a LIRR train ticket conductor to me. Um, so 160 Microsoft points. And the last one is the Dark Warrior armor. It's a 240 points. It's pretty much all Dark Warrior stuff. It could be only used by male characters. Pretty scary. That's the last of the set that you're going to get. So like I did last week. I already created a character as opposed to boring you guys going through one. I made a new outfit for Elysium. So this is a Roman time Elysium. As you could tell, she didn't do so hot in battle because she has two arrows sticking out of her eyes. But it's okay. She doesn't need to see in order to kick ass. Now, whether or not I'm going to kick ass is an actually completely different story altogether. Because within the last couple of episodes, the only character I ever played with is Astaroth. So now I'm actually going to go online and play with... Elysium and see if I can actually win one. If I do win one, then I'm just a boss. Simple as that. If I don't win one, then I am going to blame it on the fact that I don't play with Elysium. Alright, so got a match. Let's pick third outfit Elysium. And hopefully, since Elysium plays like every character, hopefully they just give me Astaroth for three straight rounds. But I know that's not going to happen. Battle one. Fight. Like I said, I don't play with Elysium. I only play with Astaroth. Well, at least we got to see another awesome looking Yoshimitsu. If you are a fan of creating characters just as much as we are, please submit photos and videos to fightyourrival at gmail.com. And when we finally get enough, 
we will do a whole showcase and show off your guys' DLC created characters. So again, this is Natal from Fight Your Rival, and remember guys, keep fighting.